Before starting, I ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and at the end, share this video with your friends. Let's go to the video! The Challenger 2 as it is now is one of the Army's only 24-hour all-weather, all-round defense platforms. And using combined armed tactics with the infantry, we hunt down tanks and we hold ground. There's several upgrades really, ranging from optics and sensor upgrades, uh, the engine pack, we're getting an upgraded engine pack, uh, the gun itself is getting an upgrade, we're moving to a smoothbore gun, whereas right now we're on a rifled gun, which is a bit dated compared to NATO contemporaries. So with the new uh, smoothbore 120mm gun, it's uh, one piece ammunition. So currently we have three pieces of ammunition. The uh, ammunition itself, the kind of explosives behind it, and a kind of primer to actually get that um, firing. Whereas now with one piece ammunition, it's all one, same as a bullet into a rifle. Uh, so it's one piece uh, to go in, speeding up engagement times and reliability. When we're out in Batas, the ground out there is very, um undulating under under the tank so it's getting a new hydro gas system so new suspension and um, with a better suspension obviously the gun platform is a lot better so as you're firing it's a lot more stable so if i want to look around or operate at night find enemy which is my job as commander i have to either rely on the gun in sight or use a handheld just light roll infantry uh, night vision device so with challenger 3 upgrade i get my own commander's thermal imaging site which is a a better thermal imaging site than what we've currently got and b i can move that independently of the gunner so we can use what we call the hunter killer system so as the gunner is engaging a target i can look on for further targets reducing engagement time and reducing the threat to our life while delivering a more lethal effect to the enemy i think bottom line challenger 3 uh, will be a world-class tank uh, it will be more reliable it will be more lethal and should the worst happen, everything will be more survivable. So we're very much looking forward to it coming into service.